Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReviewed.com. Today we have M Case by Michael Shatlin, Mikhail Chatelain, or something like that. Anyway, pretty clever guy for the most part. I have had some of his products I wasn't happy with. This one I'm happy with. I gave it four stars. And now I'm going to show you one of the things it can do. Um, it's a card case. And there is a card in there. Get out. There we go. There's a card in there. And uh, with just a quick little, can you see it? There, it's gone. And you can look inside, and there's no card to be found in there. Anyway, that's the basic idea. Now, you might remember, not too long ago, I reviewed uh, the Romero box. It does the same thing, okay? This is the Romero box. This is the uh, Shatland box, or the M case, I'm sorry. Uh, right off the bat, you notice that the the one on uh, this side, that's my left, your right, I guess, is the uh, Romero box. It's a lot thicker. In fact, I bet you I could fit this box inside of it. Yes, I can. I just, look at that. Uh, it's too wide, but it actually, as far as the thickness, uh, it'll fit. Yeah, if it, look at that. It's sliding in there. Yeah. So this is big and bulky. Um, and look at the edge there compared to this. This one just looks like a normal box. It's lighter and just it feels better. Now, there are some pros and cons to both. Let me first tell you, the Romero box, all you get is this, it comes in this box and you get these paper instructions and it's 60 bucks. The Shatland case, or sorry, the M case, um, comes with a DVD and it's only 35 bucks. So right off the bat, you know, just if you're on a budget and you need this kind of a thing, this is definitely better. The, the M case is definitely a better deal. Uh, secondly, though, there are some disadvantages to the M case. Um, the M case cannot be, uh, how do I say this? Okay, this, this, they're the same basic principle, but this one, I can do the effect, like I could say, change a red card to a blue card. Then if I wanted to, I could do it again, and then I could do it again. You would never do that. But my point is the reset is instant. It happens right there. You just, the card case works both ways. This one only works one way, the way I just showed you. And at this point, I, I can't do the trick again. I have to go where nobody's looking, reset the box, and then I can do it. So, actually, for the most part, I don't mind that. But here's where the problem comes in. This, the, the uh, Romero box, you can just put your deck in there. And it's fine. Then you can pull the deck out without any problems, and then you could do a trick using the box. Where uh, is the the M case? If the deck's in there, the gimmick has to be the way it is now. Uh, and so the the deck goes in there, and the gimmick is set to where you can't use it. So you have to take the deck out, and then you have to set the gimmick. That's not quite as simple as you might think. I mean, it's not hard. Um, but in order to do that, you have to do a little fidgety thing, and you have to actually have a joker or some spare card that you've creased and is broken and set in there a special way. And so when you pull it out, you're pulling out your deck, and then you pull out this broken joker. And it just It's kind of a little fidgety. I didn't care for that. I wish that we could get around that. But if somebody put a gun to my head and said you have to let one of these card boxes be examined, I would give them the M case, not the Romero box. Um, now, if the gun weren't to my head, I would give them neither box to examine. But this one, the M case, certainly can be handled more and looked at, And um, but I, I would not let them examine it. But if you put the case on their hand, do the trick, and then let them look inside and see that it's gone, they're not going to find anything. Particularly if you're doing a change where you put a one dollar bill on there and then you, they put it in their hand and if you snap your fingers whatever and now it's a hundred dollar bill they'll reach in to pull out the bill and that's it i mean they're not going to go through the case uh, so it's pretty safe i mean you look at this there's not a whole lot to see here guys whereas with the romero case it just doesn't quite look right it looks a little bit different a little bit funny the flaps are funny and it just doesn't look like a normal case um, so, here's the bottom line. If you need something to where you are going to secretly 
change something to something else or openly change it. You saw it can be visual. And that could have just as easily, rather than disappearing, it could have changed to another card, uh, changed to a dollar bill, changed to a piece of paper, changed to a coin, changed to whatever. Um, you can, you can, uh, this, both cases will do all those things. But uh, I found that the M case gimmick is much more reliable. I, there were several times with the Romero box where the gimmick got stuck or didn't release properly. I had some issues with it. The, the M case, I think, is a, just a better design overall. But there are those few issues. For one, with the Romero box, you can let them look all the way in there before you put a card in and then after the change happens. Whereas with the M case, they can only look after the change happens. They cannot look before. Okay. Now, they can look down as, as long as they're not looking too deep in. They can look in there. I mean, I showed you the king in there before I did the trick. Uh, but if you were to look all the way at the bottom of the box, it would look funny. And so you, you can't uh, let them look all the way in there before the effect. So there's trade-offs. If you want to be able to carry your deck in the box, which why wouldn't you? It's what card boxes are for. Then just know it's a little fidgety to set the gimmick when you do that. Plus, um, every time you're going to use it, you have to reset the gimmick. Whereas with the Romero box, yes, there is some resetting, but it's a different mechanism and it's a lot easier and quicker and it can be done right you know without having to do anything hard or sneaky or whatever it's hard to say much without exposing it so anyway if i had to pick one to buy i would get the m case it's a better price it has a dvd with tons of really cool ideas on it uh and it does most of the effects that the romero box will do but it's about uh 15 dollars cheaper 25 dollars cheaper than the Romero box. Am I doing my math right? Yeah, $25 cheaper. Um, there are a couple things the Romero box can do, particularly if you have two Romero boxes, that you could not, that having two M case boxes would not be possible. But two Romero boxes would be possible. But for me, for what I would use it for, it would be to, uh, you know, put a little prediction in there and the prediction changes or something like that. Something simple where uh, I don't need the Romero box. So, rambling, I know, and I'm trying to compare and contrast these for you guys, um, but if you need something that can secretly or openly switch something, make a change like that, uh, I'd recommend the M case. If you're a coin manip act and you've never touched a deck of cards in your life, why are you watching this review? This, this, it's a card trick. Anyway, yeah, it could be used for non-card stuff, I guess. But bottom line is if you're looking for some sort of a utility device like this that allows those visual changes, they do happen exactly like you saw them on the, the trailer. They're very clear, very clean, very easy to do. So that's it. Four stars, Stone Status of Gem, and Case. On to the Random IT Song of the Moment. We have... No, oh, I, if you've been watching the past couple days' reviews, you know I've been saying I need more metal. And I saw it, Nothing Else Matters, which is Metallica tune. But it's not the Metallica version. <laughs> it's a Scott D. Davis version. He is a, a brilliant pianist. And he takes hard rock tunes and converts them into piano. And here he's doing Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. I'll put a link to that in the description below. That's it for me on this review. I'll see you on the next review. Peace over and out. Thank you.